Okay guys, so today we're gonna look at um, the Pathfinder and the Pathfinder is one of those more important tools in Illustrator that really saves us a lot of time. So um, today we're gonna look how to knock out objects and how to um, create um, one vector with a knockout instead of having it two colors we, we knock out the one of the shapes within it right and that's basically what the pathfinder does so we could do it with um shapes first to begin with so let's um draw around the rectangle here and it's blue and we could have here now a elliptical tool and draw the ellipse within the um, square shape here now to align these both together we could select both of them and let's put it a little off center for now and let's say we want this yellow directly within this um directly center within this square so we select both of them and in your um top bar here the options bar we could see the alignment um, options right here and the, these are the distribution options here but we're not going to distribute because there are only two objects so um, we're going to align center horizontal so everything is center aligned horizontally and then we're going to vertically align it so that way I know that this um, circle is perfectly within the square now let's make it white and this is really the look that we want let's see and we want a knockout here now it's not transparent um but it's it's white if we take it across here you'll see it better right so this is not what we want what we want is that knockout effect so to do that we go to the pathfinder so window pathfinder and any pathfinder you will see here it says unite minus front intersect exclude and under the there's the shape modes and under pathfinder is divide trim merge crop outline and minus back so if we unite let's click unite everything here became one object so the circle disappeared so all the vectors within all the parts and um, points within the circle was is now absorbed in this one shape so we're gonna undo that and if we say minus front this is really what we want to do because we want to minus the, the shape that is, a, is in front right now which is the circle and that gives us the result that we want you can see it here so we quickly um let me undo um just selected that and the other option um will obviously intersect and exclude um, divide is another important one which um, we use a lot so divide basically cuts the shape into one another now basically the two color the two sh the two shapes are still there you can see here but if I remove this 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 white shape here the white circle pull it across here you notice that it's it actually cuts the blue but it still remains so that is divide right so you could take a time go through each one and see what they do especially using two simple objects now for example let's look at um, doing this with uh, a text that is knocked out into uh, another shape so we're gonna make the text let's look at um, a simple let's type evil right yeah there's a nice font could stay with that and let's increase the size as command shift and the full stop to increase the size let's keep on tapping it and you can see it go up yeah all right um because this is a vector also um as is we could divide it but i always like to outline my text first right so to outline your text basically not making it editable again with the type tool we go to type and create outlines and when we create outlines these sheet these letters now become individual vectors so they become shapes 
so now I could I can um, scale and pull it scale it up and yeah so let's change this to white to see so let's say this is the look that we want right but if we carry it over let's say let's say look it's a logo we want it actually knocked out so because this object is already grouped right we could select the first object second object and say um minus front and it will minus the front figure and now we have here our shape that we knocked out and um let's say we want to add another color behind it like black you could go to arrange center back and now we could start making our well this looks like a logo to be honest um, our knockout text you know give it some style or however you want to do it um, we could you know curve the edges or curve one edge it it all depends right but basically that is how we use the pathfinder right okay guys so here we have the beats logo which we are going to um, vectorize as we zoom in we could see here that um, we have our pixelation occurring so let's say this is just a simple example but you could basically vectorize anything any JPEG so um, this is really to demonstrate how we could use the Pathfinder very effectively so first off we could take the pen tool and we could yeah trace around each of these um, shapes which would be okay but because of this um, circular um, shape to this logo we could use the circle tool and use the pathfinder around it so let's do that instead so first step is to one lock the layer right let's lock the layer and to create a new layer let's delete this layer and create a new layer new layer and this is the new layer we're going to be working on so first step is to go to the ellipse tool and let's draw an ellipse the same size as let me change the color of this um, yeah the same size of the logo itself right and ideally we want to go in the outline mode just to see we have the correct shape going size going and then we could duplicate to create the secondary circle like this um, we'll go back we'll go into the color afterwards in fact we'll probably do it last and here we get see um, the shape of our logo right so this is second circle and we're gonna create the third one same thing right so because we trace it in like this um, we have the outlines of everything working I think but um, let's zoom in and see if we have this logo correct because I think we need to shift this a little more to the right like this, so yeah yeah right so let's try and color these um, circle so let's just make this one white let's use, use a, a blue gear flip it and we should leave this one green right so let's take this off take this green off and leave, leave it as a stroke so we'll see this bar coming down here to draw it so we go into the rectangle tool now and we could just draw a rectangle from anywhere and make sure the thickness is good now let's stop around there what we could do is, is um, zoom in and let's let's make this whole thing green so 
we know where to stop right there right so what we want to do is come down here and touch it now if we come with both shapes um, you know it, it reaches about there which is not ideal because it cuts into the blue a little bit I think so let us um let's just leave it here and take our our white in fact I think the circle probably needs to expand a little bit too so let's expand this a little bit out yeah right and right so we're going to take our direct selection tool and just hold this one anchor point because this is already in there and just cover up this area here so we're going to hold we're going to select it and then we're going to hold shift to make sure because if we don't hold shift we get easily just move it the lines like this but holding shift snaps it to, to the edge right so that looks about correct so this is the logo itself and now what we could do let's make this part um, green again mm -hmm. We could change it to change it to blue. Right. So let's make sure we have everything here. Right. So these are the three shapes. Why we use blue again? Let's change this color. Up. Green. Right. So now we could just take these shapes now and pull it aside so we could see both um, side by side. And now we go to the pathfinder. Now we to be safe, I'm going to use divide. So that way I can delete all one by one. So I can delete this shape here. I went into isolation mode. This shape here. And this shape here. Right. And I think that's it. So now we have here the beats logo. And to get the the red, simply select all, go to the eyedropper tool. And just sample the red and there you have it so we have you see the rough uh, the rough lines here let's zoom in to see the difference between the two so we have the rough lines here and the vector here on the left so class that's it and um, I will see you in the next one